Sometimes, we deceive ourselves to feel good, and I understand that the true motivation should be to find happiness and joy. However, there is also pure joy and bliss that comes from engaging in creative processes. As we explore this topic, we address a crucial point, the difference between motivation and inspiration. Motivation is what we do when we are outside the vortex, trying to propel ourselves into it. Inspiration happens when the vortex draws us in. There is much discussion about the difference between motivation and inspiration, but only with the analogy of the vortex can we bring life to this understanding. The vortex, which contains everything you have become, who you really are, and everything you desire, is always active and powerful, driven by the law of attraction. The vortex is a state of pure alignment with the true self, where inspiration flows freely. We can expand this concept by applying it to any form of artistic expression, whether painting, music, dance, or theater. By aligning with the vortex, the artist becomes a channel for the pure expression of creativity, resulting in works that deeply touch the hearts and minds of people. By exploring how different artists found their way into the vortex, we can provide practical and inspiring examples of how to access this powerful state. In the spirit of our discussions today, if you can deactivate the elements that keep you out of the vortex, it will draw you in. Therefore, we aspire for you to desire to be inspired to enter the vortex, instead of trying to motivate yourself to do so. The truth is that you cannot motivate yourself to enter the vortex. Most processes boil down to controlling and directing your thoughts more deliberately. As we refine the science of deliberate creation and talk about the power of the vortex, it becomes clear that you cannot go against your own current. If you have a current that is not aligned with what you desire, you need to find a way to interrupt that current. To enter the vortex, it is essential to cultivate self-acceptance and self-knowledge. This process includes recognizing and embracing your own vulnerabilities, passions, and quirks. By doing so, you not only become more authentic in your creative expression but also attract an audience that resonates with your truth. If you just relax a little, the vortex will lead you into it. And when you work from the vortex, first acknowledge that you are in it, then praise yourself for it. Delight in being there, appreciate it, and try to feel its vibration, amplifying it. If you wait until you are in the vortex to work, you are more likely to enter it again. By appreciating being in the vortex, you increase the likelihood of being there again. In this way, you allow the vortex to inspire you, instead of trying to motivate yourself to enter it. Many people in the world try to motivate others through fear, but this only helps to amplify what is not desired, keeping them away from what they really want. The good news is that this causes the release of more rockets of desire, even if you do not have access to them, expanding the universe and your world. Then, an example about resistance in writing. When you face resistance, it is best to stop and ask yourself what is bothering you. We can say, being in your vortex and knowing everything about everything, that when you are teaching, you have eager minds that literally evoke knowledge from you, making the process collaborative and enjoyable. But, when thinking about writing, you imagine a world full of critics and intellectuals who may not be ready to accept your ideas. You are anticipating their criticism before you even start writing, which is the best way to kill inspiration. Imagining how someone will react to what you created is really harmful. Most people are not even in the same vibration to understand what you write. Resistance and creative block are common challenges that prevent many from entering the vortex. By understanding these obstacles as signs of misalignment, we can explore strategies to overcome them. This can include techniques to shift mental focus, exercises to cultivate presence and acceptance, and ways to redefine goals and intentions that are more aligned with the true self. Now, if you feel tense thinking about writing and think you will have to force yourself to do it, stop and identify what is bothering you. Usually, if you do this, you will find that the thoughts that were in the mix were worries about how it would be received, thoughts of self-doubt. But see, we do not interpret this as self-doubt itself, 
but as a wise recognition that many people will not understand you. If you call it self-doubt, you are limiting yourself. When you write what you know and feel the inspiration flow, you are really good at it. Those who want and are ready for it will be a perfect match for your words. There are many of them for you to be a successful writer. By entering the vortex to receive it, you transmit a signal that makes you more visible, more accessible. This is magnificent in publishing. When you write inspired by what you know and feel, you stand out. Those who are ready for your work will be drawn to you. There are many who are ready for what you have to offer, and you will be a successful writer. Remember, the law of attraction will bring those who are a vibrational match to you, but first, you need to be aligned with your own work. For a long time, it has been said that someone connected to the flow, or now we would say, someone in the vortex, is more powerful in terms of the power of attraction than millions who are not. It's not about whether the world is ready for you, but whether you are aligned with who you are. When you align with yourself, you transmit a signal that makes you easier to find, easier to reach, more visible. Remember, when writing, that you are not doing it for those who are not ready to receive it. When you write inspired by what you know and love, those who are ready and eager for your words will find you. Therefore, the problem is not whether others are ready for you, but whether you are aligned with yourself. When you align with your true self, you emit a signal that makes you more visible, more reachable. Publishing your ideas can be a powerful act. By entering the vortex to receive them, you become more inspired, and your writing becomes a channel for expressing your authenticity. A person connected to the vortex has an immensely greater power of attraction than millions who are not. It's not about whether the world is ready for you, but about you being in tune with who you really are. For example, if you are a teacher, your classes are a place of vibrant and stimulating co-creation. You and your students move together to exciting new places. This is what is so exciting about meetings like this, it is live co-creation, new thoughts emerging, leading the universe to places never before reached. Therefore, when you feel tension about writing, remember that you do not need to force yourself to write. Instead, identify what is bothering you and address it. If the thoughts that arise are concerns about how it will be received or doubts about yourself, remember that you are wise to recognize that many may not understand. But that is not a reflection of you, it is the law of attraction not bringing those who are not ready. It is essential to recognize creativity as a trajectory of personal discovery and expansion. Every creative act is an opportunity to explore more deeply who we are and what we have to offer the world. Encouraging readers to see creativity as a form of exploration can help them free themselves from expectations of perfection and allow the creative process to guide them to unexpected and rewarding discoveries. By writing what you know and love, and feeling the inspiration flow, you will be at your best. Those who are ready for your words will be drawn to you. There is an audience for you, ready to receive your ideas and connect with your authentic expression. This is the world where niches of interests are on the rise, and there is a place for everyone. By entering the vortex and aligning with who you really are, you become more visible and accessible. You become the light that attracts those who are ready to receive your words and ideas.